YouTube Digital Soul here. Psh, different atmosphere, man. We're finally getting the moving to a finish, I guess you could say. Uh, there's still a lot of unpacking to do, but we got all the furniture and everything sort of in its place and where it needs to be. And then I'll do a little show around or something. I was going to do a show around of the empty house and the ceilings. Like in my old house, I could reach up and touch the ceiling. But in this house, they're like eight feet high. They're pretty high. It's pretty cool. So I got a little bit of an echo going on because there's a lot of space because everything's not filled in yet and it also makes it sound like the room's a little bigger I guess I'm in but it's, it's pretty cool and that's what I wanted to say you know sometimes change isn't a bad thing and that's where this video is going to go real quick sorry a little video remote it's a lot easier sometimes but uh change so many people send me messages saying well my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my fiance or my wife and husband's been acting a certain way and it's just strange you know what should I do about it or I'm just tired of the way they're acting and change so many people fear change in this world that they stick themselves and they stay in bad situations because they're afraid to fix it or they're afraid to move on or they're afraid that they won't find something new or they won't find their place you know, sometimes in life we fall into a situation easy and it just seems like everything's going right and we sort of like overlook or allow things that are wrong to just happen or to just turn the other cheek one too many times. Slap, we're turning, slap, we're turning, slap, we're turning. How many times are you going to let life slap you in the face before you say, hold on, don't touch me again and move on? I'm not saying that you're being abused. I'm just saying that life can be hard sometimes. You know, not all of us are lucky where things are just always happening all the time. So if you are in a situation, if so-and-so isn't giving you enough time, now if they're out there and they're busting their butt and they're working two, three jobs to try and make you happy and they're not giving you no time, what do you expect? You know, I mean, that's just how it is, you know? We can't all be blessed with having thousands of dollars coming into our house every month or week or however some people do it you know and that's different but if they're just too busy going out with their friends or if they're just too busy with video games or their computer or you know whatever it is that they're not giving you the time that you want then chances are that's not what they're gonna do ever you know people aren't just gonna change for you because if you were worth it they would have done it a lot of times you'll leave somebody and then they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry, or they'll try to make you feel sad, or they'll spill their heart out to you then. It's only then that they let you know, because they always say you don't know what you got until it's gone, and then they're trying to bleed their heart out to you so you'll come back. And they might change for a little bit, but they're not going to change forever. They'll fall back and regress into who they were, you know, most of the time. I'm not saying that there isn't people out there that can't change. But I'm just saying that if you're in a bad situation, and you don't like what's going on, and you're afraid to change it because you're used to the routine, you're used to that person being there, that person has become a routine for you, they know so much about you, you're so worried about putting that much time and effort into letting someone else get to know you that you're just willing to stick with what you got going on and just take the abuse, be it verbal, be it physical, be it lonely, be it time, you know, I mean, there's just so many things in life that people allow to happen to themselves because they're afraid that they can't move on to something else, that they'll never find someone else. And you can. You just need to put yourself in a situation to find someone else. If we're sitting in our house sulking all the time, no one's going to find you. But if you put yourself out there in the world, on the market, so to speak, then someone is going to find you that wants to be with you, that shares the same interests with you. They say opposites attract, but sometimes if the opposites are so far apart, you're going to be here and they're going to be there. But for now, this is Digital Soul. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that I'm trying to get back into the routine, doing some things, making some magic happen, trying to get these rooms together, trying to get all these boxes unpacked, trying to make the animals and the kids and the wife happy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm happy. I like where I'm at now. It's cool. And I'll show you guys. But for now, don't be afraid to change. Don't think just because you were with somebody for five years that you don't want to waste that five years and try to find something new because it's worth it. There's someone out there that's worth it for you. But I'll see you guys really soon with the first person shooter finals. For now, it's been lighter, shaded, gray changes. Make it happen. Peace.
Psh.